Welcome back. My name is Paul Fritz and today we're going to talk about making a realistic looking torch for the seventh video of the Making My First Scene in Unreal Engine series. What uh, we're going to do is um, we're going to come in here and add some torch light to try to give a little bit more lighting. As you can see here, I have gone ahead after the last video where I showed you how to make the candles. I went ahead and applied uh, a lot of candles on these tables. There's not a lot of light though. They don't give off a lot of light. And that's kind of a, a look we wanted uh, for this scene. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. And we're going to have to add some more light to the scene. And torches are how we're going to do that. Now, one of the things uh, I did download, I mentioned last time, is this uh, free fantasy weapon sample pack. So it's a weapon starter kit. And uh, it's in the permanently free section for the marketplace. So this is free. You can download it. Gives you a lot more medieval style weapons if that's what you want to use and a lot of props as well. And if we take a look at that here in this, you can see I've gone into that weapons pack under props and there are some torches in here and some other things as part of the props along with a bunch of different weapons. Another thing we could do is if we go into content and type in torch, the uh, specific items that have to do with torches. So these are the ones that came with the planes uh, and the torches for the uh, fire world as well. So um, both of these uh, are already in that kit. And what I'm about to show you will apply to any one of these. So you don't necessarily have to go download this wall one, which I'm going to use, but you can um, use the ones that are already in the grasslands and the firelands. Um, both of those are in that. This is in that weapons kit I just showed you. Okay, so simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to content. First, I'm going to X out of this. We'll come back to that in a minute. Under my actor's blueprint, I'm going to right click like we did last time. And I'm going to add another blueprint, blueprint class and call this actor. And I'm going to call mine wall torch underscore VP. Okay, and that's for my blueprint. And this is going to be my wall torch. If you're going to do the you know standing torch or um, some other type of a torch, you can do that as well. There are also some fire baskets and things inside the kit that are pretty cool. I've used those, so you can also use those. But this process will apply to anything that you want to add a flickering light uh, fire to. Okay, now with this, what we're going to do, just like last time, we're we'll double click on it. And our uh, blueprint will open up here. And this is our wall torch blueprint. And what I'm going to do now is go back into my content and again type in torch. I'm going to find the torch I want to use, which is this wall torch right down here. And I'm going to click and drag that up into here. See if my computer is going to cooperate with me. Sounds like it was a really hard process for that for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to click in there and I'm just going to go ahead and name this wall torch. All right, so we're going to call that wall torch, and there's the wall torch right there. Next thing we want to do is part of that weapons kit also that I downloaded comes with a torch uh, particles fire. So this is P for particles and torch fire. You could also just type in fire right here and quite a few different fire options will pop up, including textures. And you can kind of find one that you want to use. There's some other fire effects in there. And it looks like I've got quite a few. So to narrow this down, what we may want to do is type in P underscore. And there we go. And here is a regular uh, one that comes with part of the starter content for the kit. So this would be uh, the fire that would be the default fire that you could use. I am going to go back and use that torch fire. And what I want to do is again, I'm going to click and drag and drop it into my scene here. And it's going to compile the shaders. Right now it doesn't look much like a fire. 
and the smoke that's coming off of it and all the particles. Give it a couple of seconds to finish compiling the shaders and it should end up looking like a fire here real quick. All right. There we go. All right, so now we have that in the scene. One thing you notice, if I click on it, I can move it around. There we go. All right, so put it inside my torch. It's got a little bit of a wind effect to it, and it's kind of blowing out and around. I want to lift it up just a little bit. You can also scale it if you're not happy with the scale of it. Um, but once you kind of set it around there, make sure it's in the position where you want it. Kind of center it. All right. So that's the beginning of it. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to need to add a light. So we're going to come up here to add component and we're going to pick yet another point light. And it popped right in the center so that worked out well for me. So maybe just adjust it a little bit. All right, I'm going to just leave it alone. And yeah, something like that. Okay, so now we have our light set up inside there and the same thing as before we have the intensity and we're going to have to, um, attenuation and things like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and set my torch light so it's a lot brighter than a candle and we're probably going to look at maybe 3000 for the intensity on this one not as bright as a light bulb but uh, brighter than a candle and then the attenuation radius, I'm going to leave that I'll leave that at 1,000 for right now. Come back in here to the colors. Quick, click on that little uh, long white line right there. And we're going to come in and give us a little bit more of a fire color, sort of orangish maybe, to our light. And this is the selection right here. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now we've got the beginnings of our light but our fire is kind of varying in intensity but our light source is not and that's where we need to come in here to the edit uh, event graph we can go ahead and click on that just like before we're going to go ahead and select this one right here and pull it up out of the way I don't need as much space as last time because we're not really going to make this one as complicated as last time so I'm going to click in here I'm going to drag out and just like last time, we need a delay. I'm going to select the delay from there. Again, it's defaulted right here at 0.2. And I'm going to drag out from here. And we are going to want to make this uh, duration random. We don't want it to be a steady uh, light. We want it to flicker. So we're going to go ahead and put a, a random float in here. Okay, And we're going to have a random float with a range. Uh, so we're going to limit the range that this is going to adjust to. And I'm going to, again, use 0 0.0 and 0.5. Okay, so leave that at default 0.0. I don't know why I typed that in. It was already there. And then 0.5 right here. And that's going to be our duration for our range. And then from our completed, we're going to click and drag out. And this is where we're going to set the intensity for our light. So again, set int all one word and set intensity for point light we only have the one point light this time so i'm just going to click on that one kind of adjust it a little bit all right and now from here we have our set intensity so this is our new intensity we want to make it a variation and i'm going to click out from here and again we want to do a random float uh, in range so random float in range just like last time this time we're going to put some different numbers in here. We're going to go down to maybe a thousand uh, for our minimum and our maximum for our light was set at 3000. So we're going to set that at maximum 3000. And because we want this to loop, we want this to be a continuous, not a one time thing. I'm going to click on it, bring it back around, back to the delay. So it runs through the process and comes back around, gives us a variation in our time. And then it starts again, and then we have a variation that's different in our light flicker, and then it loops back around. So if I 
move it like this, you can kind of see there's this loop around here. All right, once that's done, I'm going to compile it, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And if I go back to my viewport, you can kind of see there's our light. There seems to be a little bit of a flicker, but let's see what we're actually working with here. I'll pull that off to the side. Now I'm going to go back, clear out my torch search here, go back to my actor blueprint in my content folder. And right here is my wall torch we just created. I'm just going to pull it in the scene, not necessarily put it on the wall yet. And I'll pull it up. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Have my character run over, take a look at it. And we can kind of see that we've got this glow coming out of it. We've got our light. It is indeed flickering. And you can see the way it flickers on the wall, on the floor, various intensity. Now you can play around with those numbers, change them to whatever it is that you're interested in uh, for the effect that you want. But that's pretty much the process that we are going to go through for this. So that's it. Um, next uh, video, I will um, go ahead and we'll get into a little bit more about uh, setting up our lights and doing our final setup for our lights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill out my scene with this torch, and I'll probably use this process on a couple other light sources throughout my scene, but it's pretty much the light same process for anything if you're going to use a fire type source like a candle or a torch. Um, again, if you liked what I showed you, please like my video. Uh, otherwise, also or otherwise, also please uh, um, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see uh, you again. Thank you very much, and have a good day.